don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, to become part of family, family. <laughs> It's not real, I don't even wanna go back home What is this love and war? He know that I love him, got him fucking me wrong Hello everybody, it is I once again, my mother's daughter, Ramona And I'm back with another video Video, so in today's video, as you can talk about the title B I'll be using basically CBD makeup for full face beat and yeah let's see how that goes so i think i last used like cbd makeup or dupes or whatnot like beginning of me doing makeup maybe the first year six months or whatever and then like i moved to obviously clicks and discam product and i want to see i want to see i'm tapping back in there to see like is it worth it buying these dupes or if they're not dupes whatever they're supposed to be is it worth it okay so i did prep my skin i face wash scrub i even scrubbed my skin so that it's smooth and we give this a fair chance this foundation i think it's supposed to be a dupe of the maybelline superstay it says super makeup <laughs> it has this green leaf there was only this shade and then it was 40 rand, 45, 45 rand. I got this graphic liner, it was 15 rand. I actually wanted to see how this looks. It's so chunky. I got this, it's it's a foundation as well, BB, whatever. It was 10 rand, but I got it. This foundation brush looked very promising. That's the only reason I got it, 40 rand. Because I wasn't gonna get the foundation. I got these sponges. I always get my sponges from these stores either way, but these ones, I found them so cute, so I was like, why not? Eyelashes, I also usually get my eyelashes from these stores, unless it's from AliExpress, and these were 35 rand. I can really tell they're not as dramatic as I like them, but it was 30 rand. It's a blush jewel, and this uh, lip liner or eye pencil, whatever you want to use it for, was 8 rand. Lash glue was about 15 or 18 rand, I'm not sure. 12 rand these powders. I got two of them, a dark one for contour, hopefully, but now it looks light. And a light one for setting my under eyes. And yeah, the total was 334. Which I have this. It's the same as this one, but this one is in brown. Love this for my lip liner, lip combo. I've just brushed my eyebrows into place. Mm. I haven't done my eyebrows with any sort of uh, pencil product or whatever in a minute. This is what it looks like. It has this applicator thingy. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go in and do how i usually do my brows so i usually use a lighter concealer underneath and then foundation on top so i'm just gonna do that that's if i like my eyebrows are not groomed hence they are so bushy but if my eyebrows are groomed i don't even need to conceal the top part so groom your eyebrows guys i've been looking for eyebrow razors because they work best but I can't find them so concealer brush and conceal first things first this concealer <laughs> like I'm not even I'm not even trying to be otherwise it's a no-no look at that it's <laughs> oh damn it I'm definitely going to have to wash my face before I leave like I'm not kidding guys like the product is lifting <laughs> and not in a nice way but we're going to try and make it work yeah um, <laughs> I'm hoping the foundation does better than this what the hell look at this it looks like I'm just trying to blend this because it's already 
it's disappeared but okay let's try the patting motion it has disappeared though kind of but not in a nice way like in a very patchy guys i cannot make this up i cannot no i think that's just a bad dupe like i genuinely would like to believe it wasn't this like products i bought before were not this bad so i'm just gonna do that it's red it is red undertones definitely but yeah so i couldn't ever wear this e1 if i wanted to like because there are people that wear powder e1 so this one this particular shade but other than that it's not bad it's really not bad you see it's really not bad shame i am going to do my blush the way i usually do it so first things first i mean to take my lipstick and i'm just going to should i pump it onto the brush let's see i see a lot of people do this i do think i'm gonna love this brush though i don't know if the foundation is gonna do it any justice though this is a lot it's one pump but it's switch <laughs> it could be a problem with the brush I'm definitely not leaving the house with this definitely I'd rather go be faced I'm not even like there's a line of demarcation because it dried down so quickly but the sponge is definitely doing better but like oh my gosh the camera is doing it justice to be honest but let's see let's see if we pack stack it on let's see let's see oh no yeah the foundation just dries down very quickly <laughs> oh it did say mad fun guys I can't make this up guys, what's this? Guys, <gasps> <gasps> is they even saving this? Okay, um... Directly from the sponge Guys, I wasted money I woke up and decided to waste money so you don't have to it's not worth it <laughs> it's not worth it not even in the slightest bit like it's not worth it however this sponge oh I know the sponge is gonna do very well with better foundation better product yo it's doing like it feels so good it's a prank guys look at this this has to be a prank guys look at this Chill. oh no even if the camera cannot save you you're dead like there's no saving you to be quite very honest if the camera cannot save you you're not savable. 
because look at that underneath the foundation where there were patches yeah those patches are seeping through <laughs> oh what a joke i'm gonna use my smudge concealer because i thought we're not letting this go nope the sponge i knew it the sponge is amazing literally the sponge is amazing what because i genuinely had hope for this video i had so much hope i'm actually pretty annoyed i'm using the powder the lighter powder And to be honest, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's going in with the darker um, shade to contour. It's more like a red shade, so I don't know if it's gonna work. But it's doing something. It's doing something blush palette the blush looks promising yeah if they really go wrong with blood yeah there's nothing wrong yeah quite pigmented as well so do a, a black lip i'm gonna go in with the blush palette again using the shade that i used for my blush and i'm just going to yeah we're not looking so dusty musty so i'm trying to just camouflage that also by going over yeah that looks better it camouflaged the whole concealer situation happening a bit so i'm going to try some graphic liner things Okay, this might take a minute. Oh, yeah, no. Do you see what powder does? Yo, it literally made the rest of the face look even better. Just because you see when you're looking at the front, you're not concentrating on all this that's happening here. Black liner, I didn't get black liner, but now I'm just like freestyling this. Trying to like drive you away from <laughs> that. You forgot, didn't you? That was the point. To make you forget. <laughs> Going in with some mascara. You see, from far, guys, it looks cute because you're concentrating on the eye. So you don't really see it. Why am I lying? So, anyways, without wasting any more time, I think we've reached the end of the video. What do you guys think about the product? It's the foundation that the smudge under here that's messing up the entire look. Cause look, cause look, everything else wants. Yeah. It's a foundation that's smudged underneath that's just messed everything up but other than that this is what i managed to come up with i'm glad i didn't give up at the end of the day so yeah um see you in my next video thank you for tuning in and don't forget to like comment and subscribe oh to become part of family familiar and i promise you the next makeup video or whatever is going to which i'm gonna do now 
I'm gonna remove this makeup and get back to it, you know? So yeah, see you in my next video. Bye!